Life moves at a leisurely pace on the Isles of Scilly, but there is a heavy price to pay for living on these beautiful islands. Its remote location means residents' fuel bills are among the highest in the UK. We're very vulnerable. The Scillies is reliant on the mainland for its power. The Isles of Scilly is connected to the mainland through Western Power Distribution by a cable. Um, you probably heard our cable broke earlier in the year um, and Western Power spent an awful lot of money fixing it and we were reliant on our large diesel power station on St Mary's. To combat this, the islands are taking part in an £11 million groundbreaking project to switch to locally generated power sources and lower its carbon footprint. We have very high numbers of cars on the islands, much more than anybody would ever realise, I'm sure. We have over 1,200 registered cars on St Mary's and the off-islands. The answer, car sharing and these. This is one of a fleet of electric vehicles which have been used on the main island of St Mary's for a number of years. Soon, cars like this will be a common sight across all of the islands. The idea is that by 2025, 40% of vehicles will be low carbon or electric. There are pockets of solar power. These are on the roof of the school in St Mary's, but it will be extended across all of the islands. On solar power, there is part of the plan maybe if you have two, if you like, small sites with solar panels. Surely that's not going to be very popular on Scilly, is it? Well, there's going to be a lot of solar panels on buildings and then there'll also be what we call solar gardens, so they're sort of small solar farms. And these will be ground-mounted, probably. Some may even be on large barn roofs. And there'll be really nothing bigger than a tennis court and low level. Andrew Coombs is ahead of the game. His camera obscura tourist attraction is solar-powered. We're running on a 12-volt system, solar, solar panel, a couple of um, batteries inside. Um, LED lighting, uh, LEDs brilliant, don't take any power um, and it powers the motors for the camera obscura mechanism as well. There's a mixed reaction to the project among islanders. I'm hoping that it will bring um, great benefits to the islands and it will be able to be monitored because we are a small community. I think I have an issue about the electric cars because, uh, you know, it's, we've only got seven miles of road and uh, paying 15, 20,000 pounds for an electric car is just not sane economics. It's hoped lessons learned on the Sillies will be the driving force for similar innovations on the mainland. Steve Hardy, ITV News, The Sillies.